Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey girl, my name is Lucy. I always say to stay subscribed. We have a good time on this channel. Now, as you already seen by the title, today's video is going to be the long awaited 100k video or hitting 100k video. Oh my god. First things first, right? I feel so weird being on camera because I haven't actually sat down to film in a while. So I have uploaded videos in the past weeks. Those were pre-recorded. It's been one hell of a month. September was interesting. <laughs> That's what I'm going to to say september came with a whole lot for me good and bad honestly i feel like it was a balance and that doesn't even make sense because if it was a balance and i'm supposed to feel good i'm not supposed to feel the way i felt in september quite frankly i would smile one day or smile one minute and then the next minute i'm actually like in a weird headspace mentally i was struggling still a little bit still still, still struggling a little bit <laughs> i'm grateful that i saw september and we're on to better things for October. The beginning of September actually started off really nicely. We hit 100K. I don't even know how to express this. And by the way, I already told myself before this video that I'm going to try my best to not make this entire video an emotional mess, but at the same time, be as expressive as, or allow myself to express emotions as much. Like, I'm not going to hold back. If I feel like it, I will do it, but if I don't, but I'll try my best to not do it because when i get into that emotional state it's really hard for you to understand what i'm saying or it's hard for me to kind of put out the statement or the content or the message of the day if that makes sense so i will try my best to not make it an emotional mess i'll try my best to just kind of say everything that i have to say without you know <laughs> crying we hit 100k you guys i don't even know where to begin i can't even stop saying thank you like thank you guys so much for the love for the support i don't even know where i'll be without you guys and from the bottom of my heart i just want to say thank you every comment engagement no matter how little i really do appreciate it it doesn't go unnoticed thank you so much i remember that day so well i had a ton of things to do that day and it was kind of bittersweet i was going to do the whole countdown and everything but because of everything that was going on at the time for me i just couldn't do the countdown i wasn't even at home when i hit 100k and i had my friend you know on the phone with me screaming and all that kind of stuff and to be honest at that very moment i knew it had happened but i didn't quite grab it yet like it, it just didn't i don't know it didn't enter and i'm not even going to lie to you for like two weeks after I hit 100k i was grateful for it happening but it didn't quite sink in i feel like i was in so much shock that it had happened that i didn't know how to take it my friends actually you know celebrated the entire thing and i'm so grateful for my friends to be honest they made me feel like it had happened so they basically celebrated it for me <laughs> because i feel like if i didn't have them i wouldn't celebrate it to be honest or maybe i just wouldn't fully grasp it until now which is you know almost a month after i'm so grateful for them because they kind of made it real they kind of like turned up for me and all that kind of stuff oh my god you guys how do i genuinely feel about hitting 100k i'm in shock I know hard work was put into the channel and into the progress so far and into the achievements and all that kind of good stuff but I just didn't think I could <laughs> I mean I've spoken about all my struggles with procrastination you know fear anxiety all that kind of stuff you guys know how I feel I kind of have opened up myself to let you know how my mental state was how it is at the moment still you know letting you guys know and stuff but i still can't believe that i actually did it my goal for the year was close to 100k <laughs> but it wasn't 100k we did that i actually had to change my goal for the year and i'm so grateful to you guys i'm also so grateful to god for actually giving me the strength to pull this through but yeah i am so happy i am so excited i am most of all i am so grateful for the opportunity to you know come onto this platform actually even have the platform you know create my own little community and kind of bond with you guys share my experience but then be appreciated for sharing my experience it's a different part of my life aside my hr side that i get to express myself freely talk about my life experiences how i truly feel and what i have been through all that kind of stuff so to get appreciated by people for just me talking about my thoughts or just giving my opinion is amazing it's simply amazing and i cannot really i can't thank you guys enough i just cannot thank you guys enough so i'm grateful i am so happy i want to cry right now but i am not going to cry 
I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to cry. Okay, this is just the beginning of the video. I'm not going to cry. I've not even gone into my journey and all that kind of stuff and tears. No, <laughs> no. Now I also wanted to. I, want, I also. Oh my god, I can barely even speak right now. I'm just. This is the reason why I don't want to get emotional because I wouldn't be able to articulate. Okay, so um, let's get into my journey. I'm just going to give you guys a brief uh, overview summary of my journey so far on YouTube, and I'm also going to touch on you know a few tips that I have to share in regards to anyone else that would like to you know start this journey for themselves or anyone who is you know thinking about starting YouTube and all that stuff. Now, I'm just going to run through what my journey has looked like on YouTube. So, I started my channel in 2016, December 12th to be precise, and I remember my first video and honestly it was terrible. I don't even know if I have subscribers that are watching my video that's from back then. I I highly doubt hi guys welcome to my channel my name is lucy i, I don't think <laughs> i don't think back then was anyway initially when i started my channel i knew that i wanted to be on the platform i wanted to create content i had the passion for this i procrastinated a lot before i got it done but finally i got it done but i knew that this is where i had to be but i wasn't quite sure of what i wanted to do honestly i didn't even know that i didn't know what i wanted to do does that make sense so basically i came on here and i started doing makeup and yes i love to do makeup but i love to do makeup on myself as a human being as a girl i love to take care of herself and at the time i thought because i loved makeup i thought it was only right for me to do makeup on youtube and to be honest it was trending i'm just gonna say it, it was trending at the time to be a, a makeup art not makeup artist but like a makeup beauty guru or whatever and i just felt like most of the people that i was watching at the time consistently they were doing makeup and i just felt like okay you know what since i also like makeup i should start with makeup wrong move i had absolutely no clue what i was doing i quickly realized that it wasn't for me it's not a niche that i can build an entire community or an entire channel on because obviously you need to have deep passion for a particular niche because you're going to continuously be making videos around that niche and that's something you have to put in mind uh, for me i didn't think about that i knew absolutely nothing about youtube at the time so i was just winging it i didn't even know youtube could be a business i didn't know you could get paid i didn't know anything i was just having fun on the platform the makeup looks the makeup video is absolutely terrible if i want to you know give you guys a good laugh i might just insert some clips here but i highly doubt i would <laughs> honestly another thing that i was was terrible at when i started was being consistent in fact i didn't even think being consistent was a thing i actually just thought in my head that you start up youtube you, you put out a couple videos whenever you feel like it and then your your channel just takes off right as long as you're recreating you know popular looks and it's nice and you're doing what other influencers or your favorite influencers are doing which is wrong again i think my second video after i posted in 2016 december was like 2017 i don't know march or april which is pretty much almost like four months or something i kept making random content whatever i felt like making i made or whatever i saw on my explore page or my recommendation page or whatever i just posted the same thing carried on for like all these years and then i started vlogging and pretty much doing anything that i felt like doing um i didn't understand how youtube worked again so i was just I was just posting whatever i felt like four months five months which is not good not until 2019 hair brands or hair companies you know kind of send me hair and i'll just post it i wasn't doing my research i didn't do my research i didn't just do anything i probably at that point had like random videos but i didn't take it that deep i knew for a fact that i needed to find my voice i knew also that i wanted to actually be myself like you know this is something i'm gonna say i also wasn't myself because i thought that being like the people that i watched was what was selling or what would get me far so i wasn't myself honestly i didn't even speak like myself i didn't even dress like myself i did not even it, i was just trying to be a youtuber or how i thought a youtuber should be um it was exhausting mid 2019 rolled around and i was like okay you know what i need to take this serious and i was also graduating at the time i had gotten you know my first i would say like real 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 job i've been working a lot of jobs before then i got my first dream job that makes sense in 2019 as well so my life was kind of like coming together 
and then i told myself i need to take this serious because i actually do want to excel on this platform and i want to be myself i want to find my ground i want to find my people so i started doing research like um watching a ton of how to grow on youtube understanding the business size of side of youtube understanding the algorithm and all that kind of stuff which i'd always recommend for for anyone even up until this point i still watch videos from creators that know much more about youtube um as the platform itself and how to grow and the algorithm explaining things breaking the guidelines down on everything at this point i think i had about 2000 something subscribers after being on youtube for i don't know like almost three years <laughs> i have a friend on the platform as well she had moved back to nigeria she, her channel kicked off she had learned a whole lot about how youtube works and stuff so we got on the phone one day and she was like talking to me about you know what she's learned about youtube all that kind of stuff how we could improve my channel both our channels just speaking about these things and she really opened my eyes to so many things that i, I was doing wrong on my channel and then we spoke about um hopping on trends which i'll speak about later in this video i hopped on a trend that was you know trending at the time which is i went to the worst reviewed makeup artist or something like that so at the time i wasn't also financially okay or stable to like you know be splurging on content i didn't have that kind of money where i would be like investing in you know extra things to like get content but for that particular video i had to invest money it was fun for me but at the same time i wanted to you know do something outside what i would normally do the video did exceptionally well i think my channel kind of kick-started from that video i was watching the numbers go up my friend was like you know always writing me and like she was like oh my god you're moving like every day we refresh my page it's like 1000 subscribers have been added 2000 it went crazy at the time then i did a follow-up to that video which was the best review i did the worst and best review and that was phenomenal i think in like the space of three weeks i got up to like 30k i think i think it was like 20 something k 30k after that i took another long break i didn't know how to be consistent on youtube so i think i took a break for like few months it was my finals in uni as well so i needed a time obviously that got dropped from the algorithm <laughs> and also like jumping on trends is good but then you have to be careful with that as well if you don't create content consistently around the trend that you're trending for or the video that's a trend that you're trending for it's not going to be relevant to your channel on long run i still didn't know what i wanted to start posting random content hair content most of the time because i was confused at the time i also wanted to do chit chat so i've known from the beginning that i'm a talker and aside from being a talker i like to give my opinion i like to share experiences chit chat and i'm a feminine feminine kind of girl but they're not too feminine though but i also like to share what i'm doing to maintain beauty basically i wanted to do that but to be honest the only thing that stopped me from making these videos one it wasn't a thing at the time like you know all the all them talk talk talks and also two the people that were doing all the influencers that were doing it were actually big influencers so i felt like i wasn't trustworthy enough to make those type of videos no one would care in the world what i had to say and that was the poor mindset that i had that stopped me from actually you know doing so well on youtube i didn't think anyone would care i didn't think anybody would listen to me i felt like i wasn't qualified to be having a conversation about you know feminine hygiene or like you know talking about love or dating or like emotions or and i was also still experiencing a lot at that time in my life another thing that was slowing me down on youtube from doing so well was fear because in my head i think i've mentioned this before i wanted to do well on youtube but i just had that fear of doing well and actually carrying on the success or maintaining the success okay fine i'm okay with like 200 people watching my videos but how would it be like if 20 000 people watch me like they would criticize everything that i say i don't think i speak well i don't even think i'm that pretty to be on camera i had so many negative talks in my head that i would just like okay let me chill out let me not post videos like as often do you get what i mean it was so toxic i mean this is a real thing i really wanted to grow but there's that little voice in me that was just like yeah but do you think you're capable of that kind of fame or do you think you're capable of that amount of audience or do you think when twenty thousand people sit down to watch you you think you have something productive or something meaningful to tell them i would always kind of talk myself down self-sabotage the entire thing so 2020 rolled around which was a pandemic this was time that i had to like work on myself like i had the time to sit down and be like okay you know what you're working on yourself in all areas of your life 
your dating life, your career, your ev everything you want to do, you need to start working on yourself. So I started working on myself, working on my channel, and then I got the confidence to like start posting random videos of what I truly wanted to speak about, how to upgrade your look because I was working on myself at the time, changing my style, elevating how I speak, you know, all these kind of things, uh, filtering people from my life, bringing people into my life. You know, I was doing a whole 360 or 180 in my life and I wanted to actually do that with YouTube, like finally just come on here and be myself and talk about what I like to talk about, the way I'm talking, whether with a Nigerian accent or I be with my crooked language or, or my voice that sounds deep and husky. I don't care. I just wanted to, you know, be myself and, you know, own my platform and create my little space and little community. I started making those videos here and there and they weren't doing well, quite all right. And that also kind of validated the thought that i had in my head of like okay maybe it's just because it's me you know I, but i wasn't really consistent with those videos either like i'm not going to lie i was just because i was scared so i was just putting them out like this like this then i put out a video i think it was june of was it june or may of 2021 but i think it was june it was the level of video i wanted to make that video oh my god for the longest time but again i was just like okay what what was stepping up a little bit i think i'd spoken about hygiene i think i'd spoken about um you know style and everything but i had not really gotten deep into talking about emotions dating finances all that kind of stuff and that was you know you know dipping my leg into the water do you get what i mean so i was like okay you know what let me introduce myself let me get into this and see how people react to it because you know i want to talk about this i want to take it up a notch a little bit so let's see how it's going to be let me open this part of my life up and see how people receive it because also that's what i really wanted to do i want to talk i want to talk to you guys i want to tell you guys what's in my head i want to tell you guys my experiences that day i think i made like two videos i made a perfume collection video and i also made this video i think it was two and i was like okay you know what i'm going to make these two videos i'm going to put this one first and i'm two days after or the next day i'm just going to put you that one because i was a bit scared like let me use this one to cover this one you get that was the thoughts in my head and I put that level of video and I just like, okay, let's see how it goes. And I kid you not, that video did a madness. And the madness I'm even telling you, it's not even like as crazy as my best reviewed or worst reviewed video. Those that trendy one, cause that one, I think there are millions of views. And this one was, I think at this point it should be like 300 and something K or 400 and something K. But it's the community that came out from that video. It's the people that stuck from that video for me. Initially, I wanted to break it down. I wanted to break that video down into, you know, leveling up in your dating, in your finances, you know, friendship and career, right? But because of fear, I put it all together. So I wasn't able to like express myself because it's like, okay, you know what? Let me just put this one and just let it go. So I did that. And when I saw that, oh my God, a lot of people really liked what I had to say. And I'm, I broke down, <laughs> I broke down. I was just like, why do you want to listen to me? Why do you, why, why do you care what I say? Like, I didn't know you wanted to hear me. Like, I didn't know anyone would care what I had to say. The amount of people, the amount of love, the amount of, you know, subscribers that I got from that video, I'm blown. Like, that was what created my community. That's what started this community that we have today. And then, because that happened, I got the confidence to break that video down finally. So I broke it down as I wanted to make it before. So I broke it down into the dating, into the finances, into the friendship, into the career. I had to break it down. So I gave you guys all four videos because I initially wanted to do this and I wanted to see the reception and that, the reception was amazing. So I was like, you know what? I'm giving you guys all, like everything that I have. If, just take everything that I have. Now I can comfortably sit down and not even think about content too much and create because previously like i would beat myself up so much i don't even know what i want to make like i don't know what i want to create i was just creating whatever was offered to me like hair videos vlogs whenever i felt like okay my channel has there was nothing that's gone up on my channel for a long time i'll just create vlogs or something random you get but 
I would have to like think properly on what to create and quite all right you could get like content block or creators block or whatever it's called but when this breakthrough happened for me it just it was coming like this like the only reason why I haven't even dropped like 400 videos is because time I literally don't have time to make that many videos and it did them that's the only thing you know what's crazy you guys so i posted that video on the level of in uh, i think june i hit 50k i think in july yeah or july or august i hit 50k last year and today we're almost at 113 or 112 so that's kind of like double it and i am amazed like i'm blown away i am grateful i am happy all that kind of stuff you guys are amazing you guys are simply the best i wrote down about 10 tips on how you could you know grow your channel or start your channel today i might not necessarily break each and every one of these points down just because of time and also let me know if you want like a special like a dedicated video to you know how to grow on youtube or you know my thoughts on youtube and if you have questions as well just let me know in the, in the comment section below i'll answer it in that video if you guys want to see it anyway the first thing is consistency i know you've heard this a lot of times for for any video that you have watched on how to grow on youtube or how to start your channel or you know how to progress with your channel how to get views how to reach a like a wider audience consistency consistency is what kept me from not reaching this point like you know sooner i would say for a new person or a new creator your minimum amount of videos to post per week should be three now my second thing is to post with intention you're not posting videos for yourself and this is really harsh to say but no one actually cares about you when you're starting out youtube not if they don't care they don't know you so to be honest they don't care so you have to post with intention the intention of reaching out to audience you should also consider creating searchable content you should post videos that people are generally looking for or seeking for or you could have an audience from not just random videos third one pick a niche now with picking a niche i'm going to be honest with you based off of my experience don't be too strict with your niche especially in the beginning now i'm gonna tell you this right in the beginning when you're trying to pick out a niche or you're trying to figure out what you should do on youtube you could write down three or four things that you're passionate about and if they kind of go together or could possibly go together on one channel explore explore videos within those niches on your channel now the thing is when you're just starting out on youtube you have the, the freedom to explore you have the opportunity to kind of find your balance and know what's what's going to work for your channel take that opportunity explore different areas try and see what could what's working for you what you could have more content on and let that be at the top and then you could just sprinkle in a bit of other things that you might be interested in as long as they go together and they could be on one channel if that makes sense why i'm saying that is because you can't put finance and cooking videos together it doesn't make any sense always leave room for change and always be open to exploring different you know niches have youtube robots that automatically put your videos into different categories they need to know a category to put your video if your videos consistently show up in a particular category then automatically your channel falls into that category and if someone is looking for videos that are in that category your channel is most likely to get recommended does it make sense it makes sense fourth one always look for inspiration from similar channels and i say this because sometimes you could be in your own world you could be in your own bubble and not know what's going on around you it's just like being in the makeup industry as a makeup artist and not trying to find out what's going on in your industry if that makes sense so you could improve and do better know if they was working for someone who has a similar niche as you and you know take inspiration from there as well See what's working in your industry what's working in your market what's working in your niche and take inspiration from there and move accordingly this will help your channel move further and move with the trend and also with the algorithm because you have to be on top of it talk to creators as well network people within your niche you know have conversations share ideas with them you know kind of bounce it off back and forth fifth one always make 
schedules for creating content this is something i usually didn't do what i would do previously is just create whenever i want to create you want to treat this as serious as you want it to be if you want this to be a serious thing for you then you have to treat it as such if you would show up at work every day despite the fact that you feel a type of way you're sick i know you could call in sick sometimes or you just not you're not in the right mood treat your channel as such take notes oh my god when you're filming videos it depends on the content for most content you would need structure structure is the reason why there is a nice flow in your videos and obviously we're humans our attention span is very very small like this there is absolutely no way i would sit down and watch five minutes to ten minutes of someone's video that is completely all over the place you want to be put together your videos should have a nice flow and sequence let it be so sixth one let's talk about equipment they matter but at the same time they don't really matter you don't need the most expensive gadgets you don't need the most expensive lights the most expensive camera the best audio all that kind of stuff i didn't speak about this when i was talking about my journey but i started with my phone and then i didn't even have the best phone i think i had iphone 6 or 7 and uh, now they have better iphones with cameras or better phones generally with cameras if that's what you have at the moment i would always recommend that you start with your phone youtube requires a lot of investment money and all of that goes into youtube so if you feel like you're not really sure if this is what you want to do for a long time i would not recommend actually going out there to buy all these lights and cameras and mics and all this kind of stuff start with your phone and see how you like it because sometimes we might want to do youtube you might want to do it just because you see that your favorite person is doing it or it looks like it's easy or something that you can do and then when you start you realize that it's not all you know rosy and all that kind of stuff you get discouraged so start with your phone i don't use the best one and honestly this is my second camera ever since i started youtube my first one was a sony a5100 i used that camera up until last year you guys i only told myself that if i hit 30k i was going to get myself a new camera which i did so i only got this one last year i have everything in linked in the description box below i have an amazon storefront i don't know if you guys know that all my equipment are linked in the description box i really don't use a lot of fancy stuff i just have my tripod my lights my mic my camera and my lenses that's all i have and i'll definitely recommend that as long as you have good picture or good um quality that people can see you clearly and most of all audio that people can hear you clearly you're good seven thumbnails and titles thumbnails and titles will save your life in fact that's pretty much the only thing that's going to get your videos out there people don't know you people don't know what you like what you're like what your content is they're not going to check out your channel before they click on your video they will only see your video recommended to them or just randomly on on, on youtube right what will get them to click is the title and the thumbnail you have to be intentional about how you title your videos like i said you have a target audience what are they potentially searching for on youtube that's what your title should be we have i think total 100 characters that you could use for your title but i think it's about 50 percent of that that shows up when someone sees your videos recommended to them you have to use utilize that the first few words that you're using on your title that's what captures someone's attention alongside your thumbnail let's say you have a topic in mind feminine hygiene search for feminine hygiene videos on youtube trust me the one way you can learn how to grow on youtube is still from youtube <laughs> that sounds crazy but it's the truth search for feminine hygiene videos on youtube see what's working see the titles that are working and then also see the thumbnails that are working and try to you know get inspired your content is what makes them stay but then what makes them click on it which you want them to click is the title and the thumbnail eighth one always pay attention to what's working on your channel this has helped me so much in understanding what you guys want to see and i keep giving you guys what you want to see doesn't mean that i don't create content that i want to create but also like i know what you guys love to see on my channel and i try my best to give you what you want to see because at the end of the day this is you guys that i'm communicating with it's you guys that i am you know talking to you are my people so you're here for a reason i'm not just going to neglect what you want to see from me i'm going to always you know connect with you guys in every way that i can check your analytics 
check where your views are coming from check what's making people click on your videos check the, the search words or the keywords that's making people find your channel create content around that ninth one is about trends trends are good but they could also be bad for your channel if the trend falls under your niche then it's okay knowing fully well that you're going to be creating content consistently around that trend it's good to hop on the trend but if it has absolutely nothing to do with what your channel is about don't do it now my last one is to always educate yourself about the platform i tell you even up until this point i still search for how to grow on youtube on youtube and anywhere else as well like um tiktok especially i search for new updates on the platform search for you know new information about the platform what's working on the platform what people are doing on the platform that's the only way you're going to grow on this platform if you keep educating yourself and updating yourself about the platform every single day they are like putting this in place removing this the algorithm is changing here and there um, rules are changing all that kind of stuff like you want to always be up to date so you know how to adjust your own channel there are a lot of creators out there that are beneficial to your growth on youtube and understanding the platform better the business side the opportunities the features especially we have shorts now we have other features that are out that could also boost your channel you want to learn more about the platform and this new feature so that you could use that to grow your channel the last thing i want to say in this video because i know we've been talking for so long is the fear anxiety and all of it around starting a youtube at least for me now i'm gonna be so plain with this and so simple with this start youtube has completely changed my life and it has opened up a whole different world for me and opportunities as well it has given me a whole different side to myself with youtube i've been able to like you know learn more about myself so it has given me a whole different life a whole different opportunity it has opened my eyes to see so many things i have spoken to different people that i never thought that i could speak to i have been exposed to a whole different world that has impacted my life positively and i would say if this is something that you've been wanting to do you have the passion to do nothing is holding you back but yourself so do it if there's anything that I've learned in this entire time doing YouTube is you are your biggest motivator. You are the only one that could take yourself from point A to point B if you put your mind to it. One height to another height. Just by doing the work on yourself, going for what you want, being intentional about what you want, going to get what you want, not waiting for it to fall on your lap. Motivating yourself, encouraging yourself, speaking life into your own life, telling yourself that you're worth this, you're going to get it done. You will get it now again thank you guys so so much for everything that you do for me for supporting me and sticking with me on this journey i really do appreciate every one of you thank you so 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 much that's everything that i have for you in this video i could talk more than i've already spoken i think it's even more than an hour honestly i've been speaking and i feel like it's time for me to stop because this is going to be long for me to edit but yeah follow me on instagram that's linked in the description box below we're also going on that platform and i'm also grateful to you guys as well because i see that a lot of you from this platform you know run straight to my instagram thank you guys so much i love you guys so 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 much and i will see you in my next one Bye!